So I'm finally here to talk to you a little bit about my eyebrow routine and basically review for you guys the Il Masca Brow Cake. Now I actually did get this product for my birthday back in January and I've been using it and loving it and meaning to review it for you guys. And I have this in Motto and Motto is basically a taupe. So this would be good for light or dark brunettes or even blondes who want a little bit more definition on their eyebrows. So it comes in this little compact like a lot of Illamasqua products, this square packaging. When I initially saw Illamasqua products when they first came out, I was not really thrilled with the packaging and now I've grown to love them specifically because of the product alone really. But if you're not familiar with Alamasca products, they're super pigmented. I barely touch that. So to start off my brow routine, I just take the compact and a little synthetic angle brush, anyone will do. And as you can see, there's already something filling out my eyebrow just slightly. They've grown in quite a bit. But I basically start off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde, just as a base. This will work on its own, but I think it does work a little bit better over some form of primer or base. So I start with the synthetic brush and I start filling it in right about here because it's patchiest right here at the forefront of my brow. That's really where I was lacking hairs to f in the first place before I started growing them out. So I'll start doing that towards the mid front into the arch and pulling it slightly back, not getting too long a tail. I do like to leave the front a little bare uh, with just the pencil, so it looks a little bit more natural. I don't really like to create an ombre brow, but you know how the brows are naturally a little more sparse towards the forefront, so I'll just leave that be. Brow pencil, and then just cl uh, go over it once again just to make it look very natural. So it doesn't take too much product, a little goes a long ways. That's not just a preference, a little really does go a long ways. And then I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Tint in Caramel and tint my brows with that because there's a lot of warmth in my hair just to get a very natural brow. So very quick and easy and the thickness and the shape is all mine at this point. Now what I like about this product is it comes in so many colors. It comes in like a golden blonde that has like a lot of warm in, warmth in it so it would look really great on redheads. It comes in this great taupe color which would look good on people who dye their hair blonde or have very dark dishwater blonde hair or maybe even have really dark hair and they want a softer brow. It also comes in a very nice natural like golden blonde which would be great for platinum blondes or natural blondes and then it also comes in almost like a black brown and also a gray. Not many brow products come in gray but if you have some salt and pepper in your hair and you don't want to really want to color it it's kind of a neat uh, alternate. What initially drew me to this product was that it seemed to get probably the best reviews on a lot of brow products, cakes, and it wasn't something that was way too difficult to use, way too goopy, way too wet or sticky. So it really does set your eyebrows really nice. It's a very, um, very, very pigmented, very powerful powder. And so it definitely earns the name cake without being a gel-like texture. So this was really, really nice to sort of pick up my eyebrows until well, they were pretty much grown in. A little goes a long ways with this product. You don't need to take a ton of it. They'll go on looking far too dark if you do that, unless you want a much fuller, like uh, Audrey Hepburn type brow. But you definitely get your money's worth with this product because you don't ha really have to use it to begin with. I know Laura Mercier um, discontinued theirs. A lot of people like that product. So a lot of people have said this is a great replacer who were previous owners of that product. And also a lot of people have said this replaces their Anastasia Beverly Hills products. And I honestly think this is better than their brow powders. Me personally, I've never tried their brow pencils, so I can't say. But if you do, um, if you do want to venture out of brow pencils or you don't want a brow pencil, I think that this is magnifique. Uh, I really couldn't live without it. You could probably just use a little bit of uh, primer, eyeshadow primer, um, something along those lines, and uh, this to get a full brow. You could try this uh, wet, they say. I personally don't recommend putting wet brushes into powders because you can cause uh, your 
product to grow more bacteria could cause like a wet layer on top of it and cause the powder to just eventually dry out from underneath that wet surface. It does not test on animals to the best of my knowledge um, and I'm pretty extensive with research. So I hope that you enjoyed this. It made me want to grow out my eyebrows because I finally enjoyed something that filled them in when I had pretty much nothing to fill in and that's saying something because I had really no motivation to grow them out before because they looked terrible when I tried to fill them out. So um, yeah, I hope that you check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.